Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add and delete whole columns and whole rows to your tables if needed. Remember that Word will automatically create new rows at the bottom of a table when you press the tab key and your mouse is in the lower right corner cell of the table. However, you may also need to alter the column structure to add or remove columns. You may also need to delete rows that you have previously entered. When deleting rows, you should remove the entire row and not just simply clear the contents of the cells within that row. Leaving a blank row of data in the middle of a table can lead to issues with sorting and counting within the row. So in this lesson, we will examine how to insert and delete columns and rows in a table. Let's look at the process used to delete columns and rows. To delete a column or a row, you must first select the column or row that you wish to delete. After you've made your selection, click the Delete button that appears in the Rows and Columns group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. From the drop-down menu of Commands, select either the Delete Columns or the Delete Rows command as is appropriate for your selection. To add a column or a row, click into a cell within a column or row that is adjacent to the location where you want the new column or row to be inserted. Then use the buttons in the Rows and Columns group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to insert either a column or row into the location shown on the button. Insert above, insert below, insert left, or insert right. Note that if you wanted to insert multiple columns or rows, then simply select the number of columns or rows that you want to insert before clicking one of those four buttons. For example, if you select three columns and then click the Insert Left button, you will insert three columns to the left of your selection. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.